है जय हिंद जय भारत धन्यवाद जी श्री लभु श्री कृष्ण जी थैंक यू वेरी मच uh many people have uh, spoken about this but uh, i want to put this on record uh, with resp uh, with respect to the retrospective tax uh that has been one of the embarrassing thing uh, that we have seen in this country uh which is one of the most regressive step uh that have that we have seen and uh, it has embarrassed us not only in this country but across the world sir it has uh, spooked the investor confidence and um, it took many years to again bring that uh, confidence to the uh, to the investors sir but uh, when i say this i'm sure uh, uh treasury benches will be um will be very happy uh, because it has happened and that different government was in power but uh, uh but i want to remind them i want to put this uh, uh, put this on the uh, on uh, in the in the house sir with respect to the aqua culture uh the the steps that have been taken in the last one year with regards to the mias merchandise export incentive scheme sir aqua culture in andhra pradesh is one of the highest exporters sir in the country uh we have been doing it to the uh, many many countries across the world sir uh but with regards to the mias which has been boon for this aqua exporters they have given a letter of discontinuation of this mias scheme on august 31st 2020 sir and from 1st september 2020 within one day they have discontinued it without any prior information saying so and so date will discontinue it so and so time we'll give it they have not given any any of that sir but just discontinue it in a knee jerk fashion and uh, from september 2020 to december 2020 they have capped mias scheme for 2 crores of the rupees sir they didn't take take into view the value of the commodity that they are exporting they just said only 2 crores is the value that uh, we are going to cap it and uh, out of this sir only 2% of the companies are about 2 crores sir whoever are able to uh take this mea mea scheme only uh, uh 2% of the companies are about this 2 crore uh, this thing sir but uh, they have not taken the value basis sir but they just taken uh, uh with regards to the uh, uh with with regards to the capping sir but it's a uh, iron ironic sir to say on one side they said we are going to cap it at 2 crores for these companies and they said only 2% of the companies will get affected because of this move but on the other side they said a uh, pli scheme that we are bringing out uh, we want to make the better companies that are exporting the bigger companies that are exporting we want them to get bigger and better sir so it's a irony and a big contradiction that has happened with respect to the discontinuation of ma scheme and bringing of a pli scheme with respect to the uh, food processing industry sir mainly the aquaculture and uh, coming to the uh, second point sir with regards to the tobacco board tobacco board which was there in my constituency sir which is which is there in my in our district sir in guntur uh, it has done amazing service to the farmers sir because of tobacco board direct payments are done for the farmers sir and uh, they have because of tobacco board regulating uh, regulation of uh, sowing uh, number of acreages that farmers can sow the tobacco board could uh, regulate it sir and uh, they could regulate the crop size as well and they brought the price stability to the farmers but and this also created the unity with, uh, within the farmers they the farmers have expressed the confidence in the tobacco board sir but the staffing in the tobacco board uh, wherein the, there are seven, 700 people that are supposed to be the employees supposed to be there but only right now only 400 uh, employees are available right now a tobacco board which is profitable which is doing lot of service to the farmers you're not encouraging it you're not uh, making it grow uh, grow uh, i want the uh, ministry to look at it sir and also there is a the, for the employees there is a 3% da hike that is pending uh, for this uh, 400 employees that are already working there so please uh, i request the ministry to look into it sir and final point sir with regard to the chili board uh india is the world's largest uh, expo uh, uh, exporter of the chilies sir and uh, andhra pradesh is the highest uh, producer of this chilies sir and uh, in uh, in andhra in whole of india 37% of the chilies uh, are uh, are ex uh, produced in uh, guntur district itself that is from my district sir and mostly from my constituency in astropet sir and commerce uh, uh, committee as well standing committee as well uh recommended uh, for the chili board to be established at guntur district so, so that whatever the tobacco board is doing for the farmers the same way chili board can help the farmers and make the price to be stable and uh, um, make make the farmers have the confidence in uh, con conference in conference sir. but somehow the government is not coming forward uh, they are saying the government is not in the business we want to go uh, instead of uh, 
running the running the tobacco board, the chili board. We want to go back, and uh, we don't want to regulate. We're not asking you to regulate. There's a difference between regulating and facilitating. So we are asking the government to facilitate it through these uh, uh, by establishing the chili chili board in Guntur and strengthening the tobacco board in Guntur, sir. Thank you very much. N.K. Premchandran ji.